Undisputed heavyweight champion Oleksandr Usyk has just graced and blessed the Anthony Joshua Daniel Dubois fight scheduled for September 21st at Wembley with his newly vacated IBF heavyweight title. So it is now a showdown of top heavyweights for a heavyweight title. Let's talk about it. On Wednesday, June 26th, the deal has finally been finalized and an announcement has been made that Anthony Joshua will face Daniel Dubois for the IBF heavyweight title scheduled for Saturday, September 21st from Wembley Stadium in the UK. This fight has now been changed to a heavyweight championship fight as Alexander Usyk vacated the IBF title just 24 hours before it was announced that this fight would take place. I do believe that they were giving a certain amount of time for Usyk to hold that IBF title as he had become undisputed champion with his recent victory over Tyson Fury. But now this fight takes a different turn as Joshua, who will enter 28-3 with 25 KOs, faces Dubois, who's now 21-2 with 20 KOs in a showdown between two British heavyweights who are going to make history over this title, reminiscent of an October 1993 showdown between then champion WBC titleist Lennox Lewis took on Frank Bruno. At that time, Lewis took on the widely popular Frank Bruno and ended that match with the seventh round stoppage over Bruno. It was historical for the sake of UK boxing and British heavyweights overall. Lennox would go on to become an undisputed champion and retire as such. So when Usyk defeated Tyson Fury, he had been he had become the first undisputed champion since Lennox Lewis retired. This fight will see Anthony Joshua try to retain his position and status as the most popular UK heavyweight, while Dubois is entering as the man of the future. Also, as a part of this matchup is Anthony Joshua seeking to become a three-time heavyweight champion, joining the likes of Lennox and Muhammad Ali. If they are able to come together, this should be one of the most exciting heavyweight fights in a very long time because both men are noted punchers. They have been known to really get opponents out of there in exciting fashion, but they both have similar drawbacks as fighters that are vulnerabilities that make the fight interesting, intriguing in fact, because as we've looked at the career of Anthony Joshua 
And his last three fights, he's faced the likes of Francis Ngannou or Otto Wallin and Robert Hellenius. While on the other scope, you've seen Dubois face the likes of Philip Hergovic, Jarrell Miller, and Alexander Usyk. Now, coming into this fight, Dubois is the one who's faced the toughest opposition over his last fights. And the thing that he and Joshua both have in common are dropping losses to Usyk. Dubois suffered a stoppage loss to Usyk and Joshua lost back-to-back -back fights against Usyk. We're going to see these men come out and really lay it on the line to see who's the better man and who could secure the heavyweight title. I feel that now going into the match, Anthony Joshua is going to be the favorite. However, Dubois has a tremendous amount of momentum going his way. He has been getting better with each outing since he was stopped by Joe Joyce. The fight with Usyk could have easily gone in his favor when he dropped Usyk with what appeared to be a heavy body shot and it was declared a low blow and Usyk laid on the canvas milking the clock and the time in the fight. Dubois wasn't able to take advantage of the situation and ended up getting stopped in the later rounds. But I still believe Don Charles has brought him a long way from where he was. These two have a history of having sparred together in the gym several years back. And though Joshua at 34 is seven years older than Daniel Dubois, Dubois is the one that's still on the upswing. Joshua is coming out of a prime, believe it or not, he was 24, 25 years old when he won his first title. But he has squandered the opportunity to cement his place in history. In the meantime, Dubois seems to be working at that very thing. To have faced the likes of Miller, Hergovic, and Joshua in back-to-back -back fights, and then you throw in Usyk, you could see that Daniel Dubois' record as far as legacy is more established than what Anthony Joshua has put together in recent memory. And with that has to come the respect. I don't know that Daniel will incur the type of popularity that Anthony Joshua has enjoyed, but the ring accomplishments at the end of the day will mean far much more. Remember, Frank Bruno was far more popular than Lennox Lewis, but look at who accomplished the greater aspects when it came down to their careers. This is going to be an exciting fight for Great Britain and for boxing supporters across the board. I'll be there to tune in and I hope you will too. As we get closer to the fight, there will be a complete breakdown of this, but it is great news to see that once again, the Saudis are backing these events to put on the best boxing possible. And with that, we all can sit back and grab our favorite beverages and our popcorn and just enjoy the talent that crosses in the ring. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think about the press conference that took place and who you got as an early pick in this fight. Discuss and leave comments. Peace to everyone out there. And everyone, please remain safe.